you can see this is actually two cucumber plants running up we don't really fertilize heavy as I always tell you uh, so by using those two cucumber plants we're still going to be able to get what's up everybody welcome to the Grow Family Network and today we're talking cucumbers or cukes what everybody likes to call them um, what we want to talk about is the difference and you can figure out which one you want to grow based off the space that you have this little patch if Bev's going to show you this whole patch this is actually called our space saving patch if you know cucumbers have has a vining personality right uh, but these particular ones are actually called uh, bush crop or uh, these are bush cucumbers and you can kind of see how they grow as I move this out of your way a lot of these haven't been pop pollinated but I'm not really worried about trying to hand pollinate but you can see how productive they would be maybe if we came in and, and just tried to hand pollinate all of these we probably would get real good success and I'll show you here they're just starting to grow we got some little uh, twins here uh, this one uh, so it looks like they're gonna get a little bit bigger we got some more twins here uh, look like these so these are just starting to grow so we'll probably come back with an update video uh, soon I can see this one starting to get some size uh, but these are all bush you can kind of see the difference as the bush ones are a little bit tighter and the ones that are called space masters they, they do tend to vine out a little bit but not as much as as a vining cucumber would so which is good so I, I'm thinking this is about maybe five feet at the most and you can actually take these vines or take this vine and just put it right back in there if you really was wanting to save space keep your walkways clear and it'll just grow on and grow on so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it as close as I can to these other ones kind of tie them in and then it'll turn over on itself same thing you can do here you can actually take this vine, whatever it's grabbing, and pull it over a little bit, and you still just got this little compact place. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you up to our raised beds, and we're gonna show you what we do with our vining cucumbers. I would say if you don't have a lot of space, these probably would easily grow in containers, like the big container where we have our uh, little citrus tree in, uh, maybe even these size if you keep them watered but they do dry out fast cucumbers like a little bit more water uh, so I would say if you was just on a straight row like this you can get pounds and pounds of cucumbers with these space masters and, and with these bushing types so Reezy let's go take them to the front and we're gonna go check out our raised bed gardens and on the edge of them, we have these nice cucumbers that are growing up the sides of them. And I want to show you what your vining type would look like. So you still can use these with small spaces. And I'm going to show you how we do it. Let's go. All right, so now we're by our beloved sponsor bed. This is Amanda's Garden. So you can see this is an idea that we use on the edge of each of our raised beds. We actually try to put at least one trellis of some sort. Uh, you can see on this side, we have a fence as a trellis. We actually can grow cucumbers, but here is going to be some uh, green beans. Um, but if you look, and if you're wondering, will such a small trellis work um, on, I think this is like 10 by 4 or so. We have, if you come down here, you can see this is actually two cucumber plants running up. We don't really fertilize heavy, as I always tell you. Uh, so by using those two cucumber plants, we're still going to be able to get some great, great harvest off of them. So I think these will be ready probably tomorrow, if not tomorrow afternoon or the next day. Um, and then these will start to start to get ripe. But it looks so nice uh, coming off All if you're way. into like naming your beds or putting like your garden name or your channel name. Or anything up here on your garden it actually becomes a nice uh, not just an ornamental plant but actually it becomes a, a nice edible trellis type plant and it stuck me 
Uh, so <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> let's go around. I'll show you another one we have. This one is by a zucchini plant. Um, you can look in here. I think this is just one plant that I put in. Uh, and this one looks a little like it's growing a little slower. Maybe because it's getting shaded out a little bit by... I'm getting really too. I yeah. think it's one. By the... Yeah, that's yeah. one. And we got more in there. And you can see how it's just hanging out. Nice size. That one is ready now if we wanted Not to take one? it. But you can look at all the blooms and, and all the other cucumbers that's going to be soon coming in. Uh, so you can walk this way. As we look at that sunflower, it's going to be huge. It's going to be pretty. Oh, and our flowers. We're finally growing some uh, flowers Jeez. for for a site that, that doesn't do anything but make us look at them and see that color. Uh, maybe it might help the bees find the bed too. Uh, so this is another one. This is two as well, just like Amanda's garden. Yeah, that's it's a cute ready. <laughs> it's red. That one ready? Say it's ready. Okay. Yeah, it's ready. Not yet. Uh, not yet? Yeah. All right, so this one is actually uh, getting really productive. It's starting to really take off. And one thing I'm noticing about the cucumbers, it seems to me that the vine and cucumbers, I think I put these in around the same time as the... Uh, Space Masters, these seem to be a little bit earlier producing than the bush ones. I don't know, maybe just me, but looks like they're just a little bit earlier on the production side. Um, but I'm looking at that. That looks pretty good up in there. Got them all the way down. If you come around this way, you can see how much production we're getting. I mean, they're, they're going all through the little grates. And make sure you have Oh, you found one? Yeah. And make sure you have uh, whatever trellis you're using that the holes are big enough where if one gets stuck in there. We got it. We got caught up with the plastic netting last year and the cucumbers actually went through the plastic netting and what actually started uh, started getting deformed. We got some. So they're all the way through, all the way down to the bottom. I actually started cutting off some of these uh, diseased kind of looking leaves. I'm just taking off a few of them at the bottom. Maybe that's because they're so close to the bottom that they're kind of uh, starting to get some spots on them. It's not affecting our production, so I'm not really worried about it. But this is two good production uh, type plants. I think these are the straight eights. Burpless. Maybe got it in Burpless, there. Burpless, I think. Straight, no, straight eights. I'll tell you what these are. These are Market More. Market More? Market More. Oh. So, good producing plant. Uh, I'm going to take you to one more trellis that we have, that we have our cucumbers on, and we're going to show you how that one looks. So, give us a second. So, right here, we're in our last spot. This is not our last trellis on the property, but this is our last cucumber trellis that we have this year. Um, I would tell you, looking at that last plant, um, try to keep you a few cucumbers on reserve so we are actually starting more cucumbers so if something happens to one of these that they really go out we'll be ready to replace that one and while that one is starting to grow and mature then we'll have these other ones that are you know doing that thing so try to keep swapping your plants out so always keep planting seeds always keep some going uh, these are called the burpless ones I just wanted to give them a try, but you can see that the vine is actually getting pretty big. How to control a vine on one of these little panel trellises that we put together. And we've been putting these together for the last two years. And it's just a little uh, T-post and one of these panels that they use on farms. We actually got this one from my neighbor. Uh, Sounds like the kids are coming out. But you can actually just take this uh, and just weave it through something like this to keep it from just going over the top. Eventually it would do it itself probably, but that'll be a way for you to kind of, I don't want to mess with it now because it's a little too long, uh, but you can see right there, yeah. it'll catch and just continue to weave its way through. Same thing here, you can take this one and push it through. And as they grow, you want to just kind of kind of weave them through to make them catch. This one gets a little longer, you can kind of weave it through, grab that truck, that little spindle, 
let it curl and do its catching thing. Uh, this one was put in last, uh, so these are a little bit behind, but we have been harvesting some, and you can see how how the actual plants, I just took that one from resting where it was resting. So let me see if I can get it back. Okay. So it was resting there. And you can see that these are actually coming in. I have one more over here that's probably two more really. This one on the ground is ready to come off. And then I have another one over here that's ready to come off. And as you can see, it's actually, if you look down, uh, if you look down this actual area, it's about the same size as the bush area was. But if if we didn't have this trellis, then it actually would be running way out there, way into our grass. You would start having grass growing through it. So if you're doing a vining type, I would suggest stick with some kind of trellising. Um, bush type, no trellising necessary. And it's gonna take up the same amount of space. Um, produce different amounts of cucumbers or different kind of cucumbers but I think you'll still get good production either way you go so that's why we kind of try them both so those that's watching our channel that's watching you can kind of see the production like should I go bush cucumbers am I gonna get the same production um, you're gonna get different kind of cucumbers but probably around the same kind of production um, what we do with these I like to juice these bells like to cut them up and put them in water Kind of like do the infused water thing so um it is helping us out here on the property when we're out here it's it's hot so she would like uh take one of these cut them up put them in water with like some mint what else you use though roselle roselle and ginger ginger put that up for the night and that way when we come out the next day in the morning she just keeps going back and forth when we come out the next day in the morning we have that infused water to get us through the first part of the morning or the hottest part of the day so uh from our cucumber gel this is me signing off saying thank y'all for watching the grow family network and as always grow 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 peace